The last time you saw Bondwaster, I was out at God Wars Dungeon picking up a cheeky little Bando's Tacits drop. With this drop, I managed to complete Bando's on my Iron Man, except for the pet, which we may revisit in the future, but probably not. There's two things that need to change on this account. The cheese cape on my back needs to turn into a burnt cheese pizza cape, and that total level needs to hit 2200. For that to happen, I need to tackle some of the lower level skills on my account. Unfortunately, those skills happen to be my least favorite skills, runecrafting and mining. The thing is, I know I can grind those out if I just find the right TV show or movie to watch, so in the comments below, let me know a show that you watch to help you get through a boring grind on RuneScape. Luckily, I have ExpressVPN, so I'll be able to watch any show from anywhere in the world. My absolute favorite thing about using ExpressVPN is that I can watch shows on Netflix that I'm usually unable to watch. Frodo, Sam, Mary, and Pippin are sad because they can't watch Lord of the Rings on Netflix. You don't mean that. It's true, Sam. For whatever reason, it's not available in the US, but by switching my server to Canada on ExpressVPN, I'm able to watch the entire Lord of the Rings trilogy on Netflix with no issues whatsoever. <laughs> You'll never have to worry about missing out because with ExpressVPN, you can be everywhere. A VPN creates a secure tunnel between your device and the internet. Your browsing data and personal information are protected against hackers, scammers, ad companies, and even your ISP. It helps protect your privacy by utilizing the highest encryption standard and by masking your IP address no matter the device that you're on, allowing you to browse the web anonymously. The servers are constantly faster than any other VPN provider, they offer 24-7 customer support, and they are constantly rated as the top VPN provider on the market. Find out how you can get three months free by clicking the link in the description box below, expressvpm.com slash soup. It's a great offer for an incredible service. I really can't recommend it enough. I have done about 150 Vorkath kills over the past two days, and this is the loot I managed to get in case you guys were wondering what it was. About, wow, 20 million GP worth of loot. Guys, it, Vorkath is a disgusting boss. The amount of supplies you get, especially on an Iron Man, is crazy. I feel kind of dirty using, you know, abusing this boss. It's kind of the same with like Zolcano and Revs. It's crazy how much money you make from them and the supplies you get are unreal. So this is really good for two reasons. One is because we're getting bones for prayer, so we can get our prayer level up. We're currently 91. It's the final skill we need to max for combat, and after that we'll be 126. And then two, we'd also really want more of these big boy items, the unfinished dragon bolts. These are going to be used at two places. The first place is Sarah Doman, so Zilliana, because we want to get a Sarah Hilt. And then two, the Inferno. That is the next big goal on the account. I have put this off way too long. Originally, I wanted to grind TOB for a Sanguinesti staff. And then once I got the Sanguinesti staff, I would go to Cox and then hopefully grind out a Tebow and a Kodai for the Inferno. So at this point, I'm just saying, screw it. The first, the only thing I want to get is a Sarah Hilt, which I may or may not use in the Inferno, but I want to have it just in case. And then after that, it is full force in the Inferno. So next episode or the episode after that could be the episode where I start the Inferno. If you guys were wondering what the gear I'm going to use is, I mean, it's going to be pretty standard gear I think I use. I have most best in slot items, right? It's actually kind of nice. I have a Justiciar Helm, which I got from the Inferno. So I'll use this. I'll use my ACB. You know, I have Armadil. I have most of the good items that I'll need. I'm not going to use four chain skirts, but I'm going to have most of the good items that I want for the Inferno. I'm going to practice it a lot and uh, hopefully I can come through for you guys. So that's the plan for now. All right, so we have just finished doing about 150 Vorkath kills on this account, and we now have a total of over a thousand of these Dragon Bolts, which I needed for Sarah Doman. So if I just get out this stack right here, where are you, Bolts? There's one, and there's two. So we have all of these now for Sarah, and hopefully we get lucky on this SGS here, get ourselves a Sarah Hilt, and then... Finally, step three out of three is done, and then we can start off on the Inferno. So, got these Dragon Bolts, time to go to Sarah. 135 Sarah Doman KC, and we have one God Sword 3 to celebrate that. 159k, don't care about the value, but I think this is the last one we needed for God Sword Shard 3s. So yeah, that's kind of nice. Sarah Doman Sword, 160kc. I think this is my... I don't even know. I think this is maybe my third Sarah Sword here now, so 3 and 160. At this rate, I should start making a Sarah Sword emote, but, you know, adds... Man, these things are 700k. That is crazy. They are so cheap now. But, looks cool on the ground, I guess. I'll take it. God Sword Shard 1. Oh, wow! Wait, that's really good. I, it's really late on this account. It is really late on this account to even use the Zami Dehyde top. But the Zami Dehyde top is really good. It's one of the best Dehydes you can get. I just don't know where I would use it anymore, seeing as I'm three and a half years into this account. I could have used this like two years ago, but it's cool to get, I guess, maybe in the future. It'll be useful somewhere. 
So, okay, 787k hard clue. You know, I think it's about time that we spice up our house a little bit, because first of all, my pets are suffering in my bank, and after watching Tiger King, I no longer want to keep my pets in some terribly stuffy, warm bank. So we are going to upgrade the house, upgrade our menagerie, and start by building our pet house space. We have to do these one by one, but at the end, we're going to have a sick house for our amazing pets to stay. This is for the tigers. Even though my cash stack is 1.3 mil, this costs 975k. This is for the tigers. Oh no, dude. I need to alk I need to alk some things really badly in my bank. This is embarrassing. And finally, after upgrading all of these things, we are up to a nature house. What does the nature house look like? Okay. Saving the planet one house at a time. Let's build some more stuff. Next up, we have the habitat space forest. Oh, okay. There we go. I'm liking it. Time for the pet feeder. Only giving my pets the greatest of food. Oh, it's so small. I thought it'd be bigger. That's what she said. <laughs> pet arena, level 83 for the glorious arena. Done. Oh, this is straight up. This is like a gym here, man. These pet, my pets are going to be buff. It's going to be great. Scratching post as well. Uh, mahogany scratching post can build that. Doesn't really fit the aesthetic, but you know what? It's okay. Only the best for my pets and a pet list. Done. I think we're maxed out now. I don't think we can build anything else in here. Perfect. Can we? No, we can't. Okay, now we have to go drop our pets in here. I've never actually stored any of my pets in a house before. Uh, so this is my first time doing this, but I guess I just use it on this house, nature house. Nice. Okay, this, use, 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 use. Okay, what's up guys? Enjoy. They can now roam around. They're no longer cooped up. Aw, look at them. They're so happy. They're already exploring. Wow. I feel really good, man. I feel very good. I need to get more pets, though, so that these guys have more friends. Maybe I should become a pet hunter on this account and try to go for more pets. I want a whole house full of pets. That's the dream. Man, I cannot stand the process of turning unpowered orbs into air orbs. Just orbs in general, I just really despise. But the thing is, the difference between an elk price of a standard battle staff and then a you know an air battle staff, it's over double. I think a battle staff is 4,200 GP elk price, and then an air battle staff is over a 9k elk price. So it's definitely worth it. I mean, I'm making over double the money off of it. I think in these battle staffs alone that I have here, when I make these all into air battle staffs, it'll be over 6 million GP. So the cash stack, which is very low, will be back to a green cash hashtag very soon which is good but i'm sure you guys all have this thing on an account that you hate doing but it's totally worth it when you're finished and to me it's air orbs we have knocked out seven mil worth of alk 7.2 mil 57 marks of grace and we are only 300k xp away from 90 agility so the cool news is is that when we open up the bank here and we take out the cash tag we have for the first time in six months we are back to a green cash stack. Don't ask me why. I've been lazy with alking, but I finally got it done, and I now finally have a green cash stack. So can you, can you guys please stop making fun of my cash deck, okay? It's back to green. We're good. Oh no, boys. The rune sword. It's been a long time. It's been a long time since I got a rune sword at God Wars. Same drop rate as some very rare items, so. Bloodhound number two. Called it. Whoa! Oh. Wait. Okay. Nice. Unique, boys. Let's go, dude. The Ale of the... That's actually a cool item, man. Ale of the Gods. That's unique. I'm very happy with that. Very, very satisfied. If you guys didn't know what this is, the Ale of Unique makes you look drunk. You wield it, and you're loopy. Sarah Doman's Light feels good. Uh, this can be used when I go back to Zami in the future for the Zami Hilt. So that'll be good. But finally unique after almost 200 KC. Still hunting the hilts, but we will take a Ceradomen's Light in the meantime. Oh. <laughs> I got hair, dude. The game... <laughs> I... <laughs> the game gave me hair. What are the chances? Wow. I have never needed hair more in my life than now. When did the bowl wig come into the game and who voted this in? And why does this look like my hair from middle school? Wait a second. Me in middle school. <laughs> Instagram.com slash the Fonz plan. 400 Zillana KC coming in. Pretty cool number. And we get six diamonds. Ah, phenomenal. It's exactly what I wanted. KC is getting kind of high in here now, man. Kind of high. We are a little bit off the drop right now for the hilts. But uh, other, other, we're still getting 10 to 15 kill trips right now. Good luck on third age. 
Oh, I just got tr what the heck did I just get in this clue scroll? Hold on. Well, let's just let's just decipher this clue. Three rares, okay. Armadil chaps, Guthix kite shield, blue dragon mask. I low key thought I'm not even kidding. I actually thought for a second this was third age. <laughs> uh, so this one doesn't matter right here. Two minutes and fourteen seconds, but the one before does. A brand new personal bested Vorkath. One minute and ten seconds with this setup right here. So we are ten seconds away from one minute, but this improves on my PB by. Eight seconds here at Vorkath, and we get a Vorkath's head, which sucks. But you know what? A new PB is okay. I'll take it. Oh no, man. Oh my gosh. That is my second rune sword in 300 kills. Man, we are just not getting lucky. I mean, I'm not going to say we're not getting lucky because we are pretty lucky at God Wars, but Sarah so far has been, has been pretty brutal with these rune swords. Two rune swords now. Same drop rate as uh, the hilt, I believe, and the crossbow. Good luck. This is a monumentous occasion. Maybe the biggest in this account's history. 2184 total. I've had this account for over three years. And we are finally completing our Prospector set. Ladies and gentlemen, full Prospector achieved on the Iron Man. Probably should have done this a bit earlier, but we finally got it out of the way. There is a Master Clue requirement, like I said, that requires this uh, Prospector set. So I'm really happy I finally have that done. Now, some people said I should unlock the upper level before I actually get full Prospector at this point. But for the Master Clue cause, I kind of just want to unlock this now. And now I'm going to keep working on getting the upper level. Actually, how much does the upper level cost? I have to check this really quick. Let's see what he says. Uh, how do I mine here? Is there anything else I can unlock here? Let's see. Uh, 72 mining, 100 nuggets gives you unlimited access to the upper level. This upper level place is popping, man. It's absolutely popping up here. And then 200 nuggets makes the sack bigger. Nice. Well, I don't have the nuggets for either of those. I think I have six left in my bank. So I probably should just get 82 so I can get the boost for the diary, like I said. But eh, probably something to work on. 2184 total. I missed it, but we actually hit 500 kill count. At Vorkath, the reason we always have to come back here, you guys have probably seen quite a few clips, is because we need these Dragon Bolts, not only for Ceridomen, but for the Inferno. So it kind of stinks because the only place to get these are Rune Dragons and Vorkath. So you guys are probably going to see quite a bit of clips at Vorkath or Rune Dragons while I hunt for these uh, Dragon Bolts. So hopefully we can get some more here. In my last video, I showed you guys something called the Banked Experience plugin on RuneLine, and it pretty much tells you exactly how much banked experience you have. So for example, let's say for smithing, if I go to my plugin right here, click on the Banked Experience plugin, it tells me that I have 98 smithing banked on this account. So 6.2 million smithing XP is banked up. As you can see, everything matches up here. Gold, silver, you know, Addy, or Mithra, all that stuff. It tells me exactly how much XP I've banked, which is really nice for maybe predicting how much more longer I have to grind something or how much total level I actually have banked up on the account. You know, for prayer, for example, if I choose the Wildy Altar option, if I use the Wildy Altar, I have 93 prayer banked with the supplies I have on my account. So a lot of you guys were wondering how to actually get it. I'll show you. I think I showed you last video, but I'll show you again. If you guys go to your RuneLight plugins tab, so the top right, you know, at the configuration up here, and then go all the way to the bottom, all the way to the bottom, you can see something here called the plugin hub. If you guys click that, you will find the banked experience plugin here. All you have to do, I believe, is type in, you know, banked experience, and you can see it'll be right here. Now, I already have it added. Now, all of these plugins here in the plugin hub, the reason they are here isn't because they aren't allowed or because, you know, they aren't approved by RuneLight, but rather it's because I believe they may cause bugs or instability, as you can see at the top right here. The reason they're not officially on the client is because there's a chance these things may cause performance issues on, let's say, your laptop or computer. So if you guys are wondering what these plugins are, there's a lot of different things that aren't officially on the RuneLight client that you could find here that may be useful for your account. You know what I just realized? I have had 99 construction for almost half a year now, and there's one thing I wanted to build a long time ago in my house, and I'm now finally remembering to do it, and that is to have the Spirit Tree and the Fairy Ring in my house at the same time. I've always had the Fairy Ring, but not the Spirit Tree. I don't, I don't really think it's important to have the Spirit Tree in your house as much these days as the spiritual teleports aren't as useful as they used to be, but it's still a really good accomplishment to actually have it in your house. I mean, it requires 95 construction. So yeah, we have the 10 mushrooms. We have our spirit tree or our spirit sapling, and we have uh, our lovely little fairy enchantment. So let's just go ahead and build that. What am I missing? Oh, yes. Good. Very good. Okay. So we have the fairy ring and now we have the spirit tree as well. A nice little combo there. Looks really nice in the house. Nice and professional, nice and high level. Again, I don't know why this took so long, but there you go. For you guys for requesting it, I finally did it.
Wow. <lacht> 